Hi there! I am Anjori, an ambassador at Love Notions. Welcome to my sewing room. And I'm here to talk to you about the Tempo Sundress, both the adults and the newly released girls version. They're both on sale today for $5 and the girls version will continue to be on sale for $8.50 for the next two days. So if you want to grab those, the links are going to be in the description below. And if you want some extra discounts, go to my website, houseoflily.com, to find out more. For those of you who don't know me, I run a small business called House of Lily, and it's a shop that provides artistically embroidered creations that I paint using the sewing machine. My past work includes port embroidered portraits like this one and another one. This one is dear to me. I actually gifted this to myself as, an, as a Mother's Day gift. I wanted to create a three generation portrait, but that was not physically possible. My mom passed away almost 10 years ago. Uh, so I decided to stitch together a portrait of my mom with a portrait of my daughter and myself and stitched it together to have us all together. Also, I have made sculptural art and it's 3D art but using thread. It's mounted and framed like this peacock feather that I made. And of course, I started off making garment embroidery. So I would design embroidery designs and put them on my daughter's clothes, whether they were knit fabric or woven fabric. It didn't matter that was kind of like a challenge to me to figure out how to put embroidery on knit fabric. And then I graduated to patches that I embroider and then can be ironed on, like these Love Notions logos that I made for Tammy and Tessa last year. They gave all of the ambassadors a little thank you. This was in the thank you note as a little gift. However, I'm actually going to be announcing some big news soon uh, regarding my shop. So. Please do follow me on Instagram at House of Lily and sign up for my newsletter at houseoflily.com so you can hear about that news first. So aside from my shop, I also sew garments, of course, mostly for myself, for my daughter, and then occasional garments that I make for my family or clients every now and then. I would categorize my sewing as well-fitted but comfortable. <laughs> When I started sewing, I noticed my ready-to-wear clothes were actually not that well-fitted. So I wanted to take time to learn and figure out how to fit my clothes to my body and still be comfortable. Back to this Tempo Sundress. What is not to love about this pattern? I was so excited when I saw the line drawings, even before the testing was announced. And I was first in line when the opportunity to test came out. I love all of the features it has and it is made with my favorite fabrics wovens i do wear knits but i prefer sewing with wovens i find them a little easier i can fit them a little bit better so this one was definitely a winner speaking of fabric the tempo can be made with all sorts of wovens you've got your cotton cotton lawn double gauze. I've seen it made in Ankara fabric. It can also be made with silk or linen or rayon, rayon chali, and last but not least, crepe. The difference between the lighter weight fabric versus the stiffer fabric is going to show in how it drapes, how it flows, and also how the shearing panel shrinks. So the lighter weight fabrics will shrink a little bit more than the stiffer fabric. If your fabric isn't shrinking, then you could also try the elasticated panel where there are channels sewn in and you run the elastic through and it acts just the same and it looks very similar too. Also, if you are afraid of shearing, don't be. I actually had not done any kind of shearing until last year when the ballad came out. It was easier than I was imagining it to be. There's also a video tutorial on how to set up the machine and how to wind your bobbin so that you get the right amount of shrinkage. I will link that video down below too. Features for the Tempo Sundress. We have the nice thick bra friendly straps um, that can be adjusted to any length that you would need. 
I actually shortened mine almost three inches, probably closer to two and a half inches to raise up the neckline for myself. Um, speaking of necklines, we have a nice soft V neckline. It's kind of like a sweetheart neckline, which is one of my favorites. The dress is really easy to get off and put on, and that's due to the elastic stretchy panel in the back. Uh, you have two options here. You can have either the sheared panel like I have here or an elasticated panel where there's channels and then you run the elastic through and that will provide that stretchiness for you. We have two dress options. There's a knee length and a midi length. I actually prefer calf length or maxi length so I hacked both of my tempos that I made. This one is actually a mid thigh. I made it into a top. And then my other one right here is a below the knee. I added the length over down here with a little ruffle. And this comes below the knee for me, which I really like. As standard with most of the Love Notions patterns, especially the newer ones, the pattern does come with a full bust option with a separate full bust piece in case you need that. This dress does have pockets. They're nice and big, and they're attached to the waistband, so they're not flopping back and forth, which is really nice. Pattern sizing. The dress comes in extra small to 5X. The full bust goes from, I believe, 33 inches to 57.5 inches. There is some small amount of ease built into the pattern so it's not really tight fitting. There's a little bit of ease at the bust and then a little bit more in between three to six inches based on what size you pick of ease at the waist and it drops out at the hip so there's a lot of ease there. Here's my first tempo dress that I made uh, last year when it came out. This was actually my tester dress and after the testing was done, I had added sleeves on and lengthened the dress to my liking. It's actually one of my favorite dresses now. Things that I added to my dress, even after that, as I was wearing it, I noticed that my, my straps, because of the sleeves probably, were pulling off. So I actually added some ties, as you can see here. And then I added a waist belt at the back to tighten it up a little bit. The waist belt was really quick and easy. It was a bias tape that I just attached over here and here. You can see the difference between the ease right now and then as I tie it a little bit tighter, it just cinches up the waist a little bit, which I really like. Let's talk about construction. The construction of this dress is fairly straightforward. There are the bodice pieces and then the bodice facings. So there's the front facing and the back facing and that is attached to the panel here then the skirt is attached and you hem it and you're done while the facing construction is not difficult a little visual will make it just that much easier so keep watching and i will show you how i put the bodice together and how i hack the skirt into a top last year when Tammy released the Tempo Sundress. Everybody was asking, when is she going to release the girls' tempo? And well, the wait is over. The dress is here and it has been released and it is super cute. I love it. My daughter loves it. This is a size six. I lengthened the skirt for her and I shortened the bodice by half an inch for her height. It is adorable. <laughs> The sizing for the girls is the normal 2T to 16. The chest measurements are 20 inches to 33.5 inches for the 16. And the height, I believe, goes from 35 inches to 62.5 inches. Features are very similar. Thick straps. The neckline is straight. I actually hacked this to give it a slight V to match the adult neckline. Other than that, the construction is the same. Everything else looks very similar to the adult. So if you made the adult one, the girls one is going to be very, very easy to do for you. And it makes up really quickly. 
the kids can also put this dress on by themselves because of the, the elasticated or shared panel in the back. It's very easy to put on and take off. For the bodice construction, you're going to need the bodice piece, the facing, straps, the back bodice pieces, the sheared or elasticated panel, and the back facing. We're going to start with the back bodice piece. I have marked the place where the straps will go. I'm placing the strap wrong side up and pinning in place. I like to pin in an angle to make sure that it stays in place. Now we're going to attach the sheared panel to the back bodice piece. Align the bottom of the panel to the bottom of the back bodice and pin. Working your way up. The panel is stretchy, but be careful not to stretch it all the way to the top of the back bodice piece. You want the top of the panel to be below the 3 8 inch seam allowance. I like to mark my allowance to make sure that my panel is below it. Now you're going to pin the back facing and I like to pin away the shared panel to make sure that I don't catch it as I'm sewing. I'm using a friction pen here to mark the seam allowance on the facing so that I don't sew the top of the sheared panel into the seam allowance. Now you want to sew where you've pinned. Once you're done sewing, you want to turn over the facing to make sure that everything looks good. If it does, you're going to cut the corners and angle at the strap. We're going to repeat the steps for the other side of the back bodice, except this time the shared panel will be attached to a larger piece. You can see how I had to adjust shared panel to come down just a little bit to make sure it's not getting caught in the seam allowance. Now we're going to pin the back facing. Making sure not to catch the other side of the back bodice. bodice is done. I like to understitch the facing to the seam allowance so that there's no chance of the facing coming up. With the back bodice right side down, straighten out the straps and place the front bodice under with the right sides up. Transfer the markings for the straps and then pin the straps. Place the front facing right side down and pin on either sides and the middle. Then go ahead and pin the rest of the facing to the bodice. I like to take my friction pen again 
and mark the same allowance at the point of the V so that I know where to sew. Sew with a 3 8 inch seam allowance and turn over to see if everything is attached correctly. If it is, then you can clip the V so that it lays flat and also at the angles of the strap. I understitched the front facing as well and then pinned the sides and sewed up the sides. You have now finished the bodice construction and can move on to the skirt. I'm now going to show you how to change the skirt to a curved hem top or tunic. The first thing is to measure how long you want the skirt portion to be and then transfer that measurement to the pattern piece. My center front is 17 inches and the side seam is at 12 inches with one inch hem allowance. Be sure to make the marking at the side seam inside the seam allowance. Now use a curved ruler to connect the two markings into a smooth curve. As you can see, I had to adjust the curve multiple times to make sure that it looks natural and smooth. Before cutting the pattern piece, I like to draw lines that will cross the line, the cutting line so that I can place the pattern pieces back together later. Now you have your pattern pieces and can construct the skirt part of the tempo and then attach it to bodice. And then you'll be done. So I hope that walkthrough of constructing the bodice helped you visualize how all the pieces go together and I hope to see some Tempo sundresses in the Facebook group very soon. Make sure you grab the Tempo today, and if you want a little extra discount, head over to my website, houseofloli.com, and check out my blog for more information on that. Other links that I'm going to put in the description are links to the adult tempo and the girls tempo. I will also put in a link to the Facebook group. If you're not part of it, you should definitely join. Uh, it is a community like no other. I, everybody is so supportive and you can ask any questions that you have. Um, I'm actually one of the admins in there and if you have any questions, feel free to ask it there. Thank you for watching and thank you for your time and I will see you next time. Bye!